Hey, good morning YouTube. Jid Webb uh, here again, back with another demonstration of the Whistler TXR2 scanning receiver. So today, I shall just go through the basic ways of how to listen to stuff. So I'll go through all the scanning menus, and then in the next episode, I will show you how I compile my banks of memory channels and organize them, import them, export them. Uh, although there is uh, technically no way to export your saved frequencies from this scanner, but there is a way around it. But we'll come to that in the next one. So let's switch the thing on. does take quite a while to boot. I've got about 450 or so frequencies stored on the memory card at the moment. So I'm going to verify all those uh, channels, make sure they're in the right format. Okay. And that is the main screen. First I'm going to switch to the scanner which has got all my frequencies in which is this one right so scanning if you want there are <coughs> various ways of scanning if uh, you press scan straight away that will just launch the scan lists that you've got selected. Um, you can see all my scan lists there, the ones with the ticks next to them are the ones that are active. Um, but today we're going to go through the search menu. And <clears throat> this is the search menu and these are the various ways that you can search using the TXR2. Uh, firstly, there is Spectrum Sweep, which is a way of scanning a segment of bands very quickly. So if we go into that, you only get two options to scan. You get all bands and public safety. Bearing in mind that this is a scanner that is designed for the USA and Canadian market, so it is, it is preset to their band plans isn't necessarily the most useful. So launch one, launch all bands and it'll start uh, sweeping the bands that are selected. So if we go into the menu and look at the bottom, so just go up and this is a list of all the band segments that are available to you to scan. So currently I've just got the 470 to 510 mix selected, change that to the one below, and go back up. You can also select um, <coughs> whether you want to delay <coughs> a special mode, um, which are your digital modes. Zeromatic is a way that the scanner tries to actually zero in on the exact frequency that's being received <coughs> uh, without using uh, steps, tuning steps. So when you've selected the band that you want to select, or you can select multiple bands, press the left arrow key, select to save your changes, and the receiver will start scanning that section of um, bands. So if we go and stop this and take the set. <coughs> 
take special mode off. See if we can actually find anything. Just check the squelch to do that. Press the volume the button down. Drop squelch level down. Threshold on this particular receiver tends to be around eight. If I go any lower than eight, it tends to just open up the squelch straight away. He says. Okay, nothing there, never mind. Let's go back to the <coughs> main menu. Back down to search. And this time we'll try service search. Again, this is set to the American and Canadian market. Uh, so the selections for service search, so this is exactly the same as the last uh, search menu, except there were slightly different... Um, services pre preset some of them are relevant to the, the uk marine sim uh, frequencies are similar uh they're certainly not uh cb yeah it covers the old am i think it's the old am cb band not really interested amateurs covers the amateur bands uh in the states so the extended two meters uh, also um, other bands that aren't necessarily relevant to the UK. Certainly railway, railroad isn't. Aircraft is about the only one that's the same. Um, so if we select uh, aircraft, it'll start to search. Uh, if we press menu, uh, it will actually tell you <coughs> which... Uh, what the frequency limits of the band that you're in are. So this is the aircraft band which is correct for the for us. Uh, it also has the mode selection which is uh, set to auto. Um, you can change it between <coughs> AM and FM. There's certainly no FM traffic in that section of the band. Go back, save the changes, and it jumps back into the menu system. Go back to service search. Um, if we select amateur, it uh, starts scanning straight away. Now it jumps into uh, the six meter band. So if we actually have a look, we press the menu button go back up and see where we're actually set scanning so this is what is set under the amateur uh, menu the um, whole of 10 meters 6 meters uh, extended 2 meters uh, the American um, 70 SEMS um, uh, that band which can't even remember the name and uh, those are all the bands you can select which set which bands you want to select. So if you want to exclude that band, just deselect it. Deselect that, that's uh, PMR in the UK. Press the left arrow to save your changes. Press select and it'll jump off searching again. So that is service searching. Next. Probably the most useful, certainly the one I use the most, is the limit search. Select it, press, and it will automatically start uh, scanning. Press the menu button. <coughs> Go up and you can select the limits that you want to scan. Uh, currently scanning here, um, part of the uh, UHF 
PMR band here in the UK. I have selected all the digital, digital modes uh, and XDN, uh, which is um, similar to DMR, but it uses um, uh, frequency um, <coughs> instead of uh, time um, access channels. There are a few stations using it around here. Select everything, el everything else that you require and press the left arrow button and off it will go again. You see once it finds the station it tells you what it's actually receiving, so in this case it's DMR uh, on slot 1, colour co uh, channel 7. Also gives you the <coughs> talk group, which is talk group 4 in this case, and the radio ID. Uh, so there's uh, radio 403 and 401 currently uh, transmitting on this frequency. If you want to skip, just press the skip button and it'll continue on. If you want to change direction of the scan, press the button, or the arrow button, with the direction of the scan you want to go in. If you want to pause the scan, press the pause button. While you're paused, you can actually use the left and the right arrow keys to go up and down per step manually. If you want to resume the scan, just press the play button. Once you find a frequency, Press the menu button, go to store channel, press select, and that channel is now stored uh, in the uh, on the memory card. So that is the limit search function. The last one is tune mode. So this gives you, you can tune to a specific frequency. So, in this case, uh, let's pick a frequency. Um, let's go on to the two meter band. So now we've selected 145.0. Again, you can use the left and right to manually move the frequency, or you can press the play button and it will start to search from that frequency that you keyed. You can press the left and right arrow button again to move between or change the direction of the scan. Uh, here you'll see one of the local ish repeaters. It will also <coughs> display the CTSS tone that has been that has been used by that machine. So if you want to access it, so you don't have to go looking up uh, what CTSS tone that repeater actually uses. It the, the scanner will tell you. Again, if you want to save this, press the menu button, store channel, press the play or select button, and that will be chart will be saved so those are the ways <coughs> to input frequencies and the ways to scan between frequency limits some of the presets that are primarily designed for the US Canadian market and the ways that I use them over here in the UK just have a quick look in Scan list one, which is where anything that you save is saved. These are all the different scan lists I have. Just remove those. There we go. Press scan now. And that
just pick, just uses the two or three um, channels that we stored. So if I just go through uh, there, those are the three channels that I just found. So browsing scan list 01, uh, there's that DMR channel, um, the two meter repeater, and uh, another standard DMR channel. And that's how you use the tuning functions on the TXR2. If you found this useful, let me know. Um, you did request commentary before. Not something that um, I'm <laughs> overly good at, but um, I'll certainly try to do that in, uh, in future videos. Um, any requests for functions that you want to see using this scanner, just let me know in the comments. Any tips and tricks you have that you would like to share, also leave those below. Like and subscribe, share the video, and I will see you next time uh, where I will try and show you how I manage my frequency lists within this uh, scanner and uh, using various spreadsheets, etc. Catch you next time, 7.3's G7 EPN.